for the events, um, so I'm happy hearing po lahat ng inyong mga ginagawa sa bawat ministry. No? Uh, actually, lahat po ng events natin sa Heroes can be part of our events. But basically, the events uh, uh, ministry po is really uh, here to serve the members. So I know that you're all serving uh, to the different uh, ministries and you're, you're giving uh, uh, yung service ninyo. So basically, the events ministry talaga is to really serve uh, the members of Heroes Church and non-members of Heroes Church. That's why if you remember last year, uh, I sent a survey sa inyo to, to see uh, how COVID uh, impacted your life during the lockdown period. And uh, that's why we've come up to the series of webinars. And siguro, uh, yun yung isa sa mga uh, success ng uh, ating ministry. Yung first ever webinar natin uh, na ginawa, instead of uh, face-to-face uh, church camp natin for 2020, since we we shift sa online and yun nga no yun yung ginawa natin na uh, usually 3 day 3 days camp uh yung ginagawa natin before sa CCP but last year um uh, because of the covid hindi natin nagawa yun so the serves really parang ano discuss this and how are we going to to, to still serve uh the everyone who's part of uh heroes and also the the non-members of Heroes, no? So, yun. Kaya tayo nag-come up dun sa webinar na yun. And, yung isa pa siguro na uh, na highlights for last year uh, under the events committee, uh, events ministry, is we discover that our own members uh, from Heroes can be used as a resource person dun sa mga discussion or mga events na gagaw- gagawin pa natin. Like, for instance, sila Fritz, sila, sister, uh, sila Brother Fritz and Sister July. So, sila yung uh, nag-facilitate din ng ating Christmas party ng December. Okay? Uh, yun, uh, so I can see dun sa mga involvement ninyo sa different ministries, no? Uh, siguro, ano, kasama yun sa, ano, kumbaga na i-scout na <laughs> kuna kayo. And maybe next year, or this year, sa mga events natin, I'll be tapping you as one of our uh, part of the, the the ministry for this year. And also, uh, nga, like what uh, Elder uh, Noel mentioned, na we used yung, yung during our webinar series last year, we used that as parang uh, uh, momentum para magkaroon tayo, para equip yung every third Saturdays of the month uh, to reserve it para sa any activities na meron tayo sa church. So, I'm happy na, na yun nga, naging, ano naman, uh, na nakatulong yung, yung, semin- uh, yung webinar schedule natin to have a regular schedule nga ng third Saturday of the month. Until now, ginagawa natin, no? So, so instead of the regular seminar, we usually, usually ano, we sometimes use it as a, a membership meeting nung nung hit nung buong church, di ba? So yung uh, yung challenges lang na na-encounter ng events committee uh, for last year or for the past uh, last six months is linga like what I mentioned nung una, no? Itong events committee talaga yung purpose nito is to serve the members and the non-members of the the Heroes Church yung challenge challenges na nakita or na na encounter is yung lack of data or information kung ano yung needs talaga ng ating mga members uh, for this year or for the last six months kasi right after the this webinar last year hindi na ako nakapag-conduct ng needs assessment natin and uh nga, part of the discussion naman ng ating uh, ng leadership is really how are we going to serve yung members natin. And also, yung tapas siguro na challenges is um, I'm also gauging kung nagkakaroon na ba ng fatigue 
uh, yung ating mga members attending mga trainings, uh, discussions online. Because I'm sure sa work uh, ngayon, yung work setup ngayon, uh, lahat, mostly lahat remotely and yun nga, through webinars lang. So I'm not sure kung mayroong psychologically may e- nagkakaroon ng, ng, ano yun, ng effect sa, sa bawat members natin. Kung still parang ano pa rin ba siya? Um, Dag ito? Parang uh, effective pa rin ba? ba? Diba? Kasi I'm sure yung working natin from Monday to, to Friday na naka-online tayo tapos weekend, same pa rin online. So, yun. Parang yun yung hinahanap ko ngayon. Uh, Nagkarap ko on an actually ng research no about that yung impact noon nung uh, continuous yung yung online na delivery ng mga training and i'm sure nagkakaroon na ng fatigue yun. so although yung yung attendance rate naman natin dun sa last uh, last year's activity or for the la- past six months activities natin maganda no uh, and also nakikita ko yung participation ng mga uh, attendees natin okay uh, so yun lang po yung sa events Brother Pritz. 